Sometimes birding is just about getting outside, uh, refreshing your mental health, and just enjoying the birds that are around you. Just a nice, relaxed birding trip that we had today. All right, so today I'm in a new place. It's called River Lane. I've never birded here before, but it's on the south shores of Utah Lake. And so we're gonna see what birds we can find. The last couple of adventures, we've been heavily searching for rarities, but sometimes it's good to slow it down and just go back to the basics. There's nothing I'm particularly looking for here. So we're just here to film as many birds as possible and see what birds we can find. First bird of the day is a white crown sparrow, at least first bird of the day that we've gotten on camera. There were quite a bit of California quails that I was trying to get on camera for a little bit there, but just didn't work out. So white crown sparrow to start off the day and that golden light, absolutely beautiful. It's been a little bit, but we've seen a few more bird species to get on camera. We picked up a song sparrow. That was pretty cool. Obviously we see those all the time, but today is about taking it slow and just birding and enjoying it. We also saw some beautiful American goldfinches, and I really appreciate this time of year because they start to transition to their winter plumage. They get a little bit more burnt orange coloration on them, and I think they look absolutely incredible. Also caught really, really brief glimpses of an osprey, so that was pretty awesome to see as well. And it, I mean, it was really brief glimpses, like two second clip, that's all. There's also a raft of American coots out here on the water, another pretty common bird for here in the state of Utah. So pretty cool stuff that we're seeing so far. I did run into some new friends over here. We have Caleb and Peter and yeah, uh, Caleb has been watching the channel for a little bit and actually reached out to me and then I just happened to run into him out here. So that's pretty cool. So now I have their help and they're here looking for a clay colored sparrow. That would be a lifer for me. If we can see it, that would be amazing, but we haven't seen it yet. So let's see what birds we can find. All right, so just wrapping things up here at River Lane. We did pick up a Caspian turn flying over. That was pretty cool. We also picked up an Osprey, uh, better views of one that was flying across the mountains out here. And then on the way back to the car, picked up yellow rumped warblers as well. So it's good to pick up those species, really happy about that. But no shorebirds here. So we're gonna head to another spot that I've been to before with my friend Holden earlier on and see if we can find some cool shorebirds there. And I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully we find something cool. All right, so now we're at the next hot spot. It's called like the Shoreline Preserve or something like that. It's not too far from R River Lane. And again, looking for that clay colored sparrow. There's not a lot of them that visit the city of Utah, but they're definitely here annually. So hopefully we can pick up those birds. Also here looking for shorebirds. So let's see what birds we can find. looking for shorebirds out here right now. There's a lot of American Avocet and there's a lot of mudflats out here, but none of us has spotted any, you know, like pictorial sandpipers is kind of what we're looking for right now. So that's unfortunate, but we'll keep looking around and see what else we can find. There's another spot right on the shore of Utah Lake up here that we'll go to and check out and see if we can find some shorebirds there. That's usually a pretty reliable spot. One of the highlight birds of this trip, we picked up some sage thrashers on a brush pile back here. They're a little bit backlit, but I will try to do some light corrections so you guys can see some of those distinguishing features that makes the sage thrasher so beautiful. We're gonna head down the road a little bit here, see if we can find some shorebirds. We're not seeing a lot, obviously uh, we'd like to, but let's see what we can find. It's starting to get a little bit toasty outside though. Walking along the shore of Utah Lake, just the South shore here, still looking for shorebirds. Did pick up a turkey vulture soaring over us a few minutes ago. So this is kind of it for us. We're gonna hit this last spot and see what we can find. 
and wrap things up. No shorebird luck for us, but we did pick out a few more birds. We picked out snowy egret out there, finally getting that on camera, that's pretty cool. Then over here on another brush pile is a Vesper Sparrow. So another great bird to pick up on the list. Big thanks to Peter and Caleb for joining me on this journey. Super happy to have them here. It's great to have company, but we'll see on our way back to the car if we pick up any last second birds and I'll keep you updated. That's gonna do it for this video. Obviously we didn't see a ton of super cool or exciting things, but sometimes birding is just about getting outside, uh, refreshing your mental health, and just enjoying the birds that are around you. Just a nice, relaxed birding trip that we had today. If you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links to my merch and my new membership program will be in the description below. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I hope to see you all next time on Brad Eyed Birding. <laughs>